other bad problem is that by increasing the respiratory effort, you go, oh, you're breathing more air in. There is a downside to this, and that is when you breathe in, it doesn't just drag air into your lungs, it drags blood into the chest wall cavity. So it actually increases the ability of blood to flow back into the heart. Now, the reason that's a problem is that in mouth breathers, the blood vessels that go from the right side of the heart to the left side of the heart, so that the blood pump from the right side to the left side goes through the lungs. And in mouth breathers, the blood vessels that go from the right side to the left side, they are constricted. So the blood, uh, so the heart actually has to pump harder to get that blood through. The problem is when you force a big deep breath in, that also then drags more blood into the chest, which drags more blood into the right side of the heart, which is already overloaded. And then it has to try and pump things through even more. And because it's then got a greater volume to pump through, the blood pressure within that vascular system actually goes up as well, which then puts more of a stress on the right side of the heart because it's had to work harder. So it seems paradoxical, but forcing someone to breathe through their nose can actually be deleterious to their nasal function and also to their cardiovascular system.